Hey everyone, uh, Beretta recently released a new match hammer on their USA website and uh, I really couldn't find too much information about it um, other than the short description that Beretta gives which wasn't all that helpful. Um, it said it reduced the take up or the pre-travel by a little bit but I didn't know if that was in double action, single action, uh, it didn't really specify so I decided to buy one and uh, give it a try, see what the um, see what the differences are, if there were any. Um, so I've got it installed here on my M9A1 Compact, um, but before I show you it, I want to show you what a normal uh, trigger setup um, looks like. So I've got my 96G here, and the only modifications I've made to this one are a uh, skeletonized hammer, which is not the new match hammer. It's just the normal skeletonized hammer, which has all the same geometry as the regular factory hammers do. And I've got a lightened re uh, hammer spring here. Other than that, this is uh, completely factory as far as the trigger mechanisms go. Um, so all of them in double action are going to have this little bit of take up here. And then the you pull it and set it off that way. There's no real difference in any of these um, as far as the double action goes. The difference comes when it resets to single action. Um, so when in single action you have this long take up here, this long pre-travel that Beretta was talking about. Um, and it's not that big of a deal, but if you're wanting a really nice trigger, you want as little pre-travel as possible. Um, so you have this long pre-travel, then the brake, which the brake is fine, but then you have a really long reset again, and that pre-travel again. Again, that long reset and the pre-travel. Now, a year, year and a half ago, maybe a little longer, Langdon Tactical actually came out with a new trigger bar. And I've got that installed in this one. Um, and it's incredible. I think it's one of the best, um, one of the best upgrades that you can give a Beretta 92 series, um, other than perhaps just a lightened hammer spring. And uh, it's pretty amazing what it does. So in double action, like I said, it's all the same. Um, there's really no difference as far as that goes. Double action is going to be the same in all of these. The single action, again, you still have that long take up. But with the Langdon Tactical Trigger Bar, you have very little reset. and very little over travel. So that's excellent, it's great, and uh, I have one of these in every one that I intend to customize in some way. I have several of these trigger bars now, and it's, like I said, I think it's the best upgrade that you can do on a Beretta 92 series. The problem is you still have that long take up if you let up, if you let off the trigger, if that's how you generally manipulate a trigger instead of just riding the reset and stopping, if you're somebody who likes to let off completely, you still have that long, that long pre-travel that you have to get through, which you can train around, but this new match hammer does, goes a long way to alleviate that. So I have the match hammer installed in this one uh, and I also have the Langdon Tactical Trigger Bar. Um, only other modification I made uh, to the trigger mechanism here is the trigger itself. I put an Inox trigger in there but it's it's the same as any other uh, same geometry as any other factory trigger. So let me show you again Double action, no difference. Same as all the rest of them. Single action, there's the reset from the landing tactical trigger bar, and with the match hammer, there's almost nothing. So you, it does away with that extra long pre-travel. You have very little pre-travel here now, and then the brake.
You still have a little bit, but it is much, much better than the factory setup. And I think that's an excellent upgrade. Now, uh, one note about the match hammer before you go out and buy 20 of them like I'm thinking about doing. I tried it in my 96G here and it did not work in single action. Um, so the main problem is the trigger bar um, or the only problem is the trigger bar really. Uh, what happens, and I'll show you another one here that I'm working on to show you what's going on. What happens is the trigger bar, when the slide cycles, gets pushed down and your, your trigger bar is pulled forward by you setting off the... I'll just show you here. When you, when you pull the trigger, that goes off. Then the slide cycles, and with the slide cycling in this rail, that pushes this down to reset the trigger, which will put this into this little notch here. Go a little closer. Goes into this little notch here. So what happens? In a normal setup, you're able to let go and that's free again to trip the hammer, like so. And with the match hammer though, the geometry has changed enough to where in my 96G at least, it only got to about there, so it wouldn't actually allow the trigger to reset. about right there and I it wouldn't it wouldn't reset at all so basically the gun was dead um, this is pretty easily remedi remediable um, you could just file down this little bit here just a little bit at a time to take away a little bit of material so that you could get past that if you're comfortable doing that um, it's going to be up to you and I would really just recommend getting the Langdon Tactical Trigger Bar and be done with it because it's going to help you reset as well. And like I said, it's a it's an excellent overall upgrade. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the new Match Hammer from Beretta and what it does. Hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.